this is without a doubt one of the most charming and just heartwarming movies I've seen in a long time. Let's talk about da 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 Dora and the Lost City of Gold. When they first announced this, and when the first trailer dropped, I truly got excited for this movie because I grew up watching Indiana Jones with my dad, and come to think of it, there isn't really much adventure movies anymore aimed at children. Like I was like five and like five or six watching Temple of Doom for the first time, and I was like I love this movie. And I still love the whole franchise. So I'm like, this is fantastic. Kids kids should have an adventure movie too that they can watch when they're young and love film and fall in love with adventure and pretend to be Dora and go have a blast. And I feel the same way about PG horror movies. Like, Kids should have some stuff to introduce them to, to scary things too. So I was already excited for this, and I really enjoyed this movie. Um, it, it's it's not the best movie, it's not the best made movie, but Isabel Merced is so charming and just so upbeat throughout the entire movie that like all the flaws just like fade away because the whole cast works, and her playing Dora is just so just charming and and it just makes you smile i was smiling non-stop because it just totally works like the film and the cast just works but if you don't know what door the the explorer is um i never watched it growing up but i know of it obviously and uh basically dora is an adventurer which in this day age drop obviously i think she's like 15 or 16 in this and her parents are out for an expedition trying to find the Lost City of Gold. And they lose radio contact with Dora. And it's been a few days. So Dora's like, why don't we try to, you know, find, find my parents? And, of course, stuff happens with her friends. And they get brought along with Dora and all that. I'm not going to spoil it because it's actually really kind of funny how they get all trapped and stuff. So her and her friends have to try to evade mercenaries who also want to find the lost city of gold while also trying to find her parents. Chaos ensues, stuff happens. Stuff, it's super charming. And, uh, this, this, from the opening scene, I kind of lost it, because the opening scene literally starts with her theme song, the whole, da 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 dora Dora the Explorer. And I'm like, they're... I'm like, they're, they're actually doing this. Like, they're going full force with this. And, like, Dora breaks the fourth wall. She speaks to the audience. And I'm like, okay, okay, keep going. Where is this gone, going to go? And then they do Swiper. And I'm like, yo, this movie's legit now. Swiper is an actual CGI bipedal fox with, with his blue gloves and blue little feetsies and the blue uh, domino mask. And he's voiced by one of the best actors on the planet, Benicio Del Toro. And I, every time Swiper's on, on screen and he speaks, I just lose it. Because I see Benicio Del Toro a, a, as this phenomenal, gruff, tough, badass actor. Like, from, like, Sicario and stuff. Voicing this adorable, rabbit little fox. And it's the best. It it blew my mind. I I didn't even know Swiper was in the movie before seeing it. The first half is better than, than the second half. I'll get that out now. When they get to the whole, like... I call it, like, the Tomb Raider section of, of the movie. Which is, like, Dora and, and her friends, like, solving puzzles and trying to find her parents and get to the Lost City, City of Gold a little bit of the humor goes away it gets more serious it gets less self-aware and it, i like to say it tries to become a real movie like it tries to become a grown-up movie and i think it loses it like disconnects a bit there but outside of that i liked it a lot uh the cgi is not the best because this was made with like 40 million dollars so they had to like, of course cgi and swiper boots 
all the animals. Some of the shots are clearly on green screen. A ton of stunt work in this. So I understand why this CGI on, on like boots and stuff isn't the best. But Swipers is phenomenal. Swiper shockingly looks really good in this movie. Or as a grown man, I can happily say, I really enjoyed Dora. And it didn't really make a hit at the box office. But if they ever want to do a sequel on like Netflix or Hulu or wherever Nickelodeon stuff goes, which I believe they signed a deal with Netflix, so I'm assuming it's going to go on Netflix. But if they decide to do a sequel, I'm there. I'm on board. Give it to me. Just give me more Dora being uppy and charming and give me, give me more Pena. Michael Pena slays me in this. It's, it's common or, or it's like normal Michael Pena humor. But just something about him being Dora's dad in this murders me. I was dying laughing. In one of the opening scenes, he tries to tell Dora what a rave is. And it's like a 60 second scene of him just beatboxing. And I have no idea why. Only God knows why. I just started bursting out laughing. I thought it was the funniest thing ever. And I don't know why. But yeah, this movie's charming. Please check it out. Please support it. Especially since it's a mostly Spanish cast. Which di diversity in film is good. It's great. It gives little kids that are like them something to look, bring it up to. I love it. Good job, studio. Thor's a blast. Check it out. Feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and thanks for watching.